In this video, we're going to be taking a look at image planes inside of Maya. So an image plane is any image that we have used as a reference, and we want to actually pull that into the program, and we would use that as a template so we can model directly over the top of it. So you can see in here, I found an image from the internet, and it's um, a pretty nice shape for what this cannon can be. Uh, image planes, normally you might want to have a front, side, top view of things, and if you thought about blueprints, maybe like a house or something like that, they build up these blueprints, and then from those blueprints you can actually uh, build something from those blueprints. It's kind of a very similar concept to, for the image planes that you have in Maya. Now you can see I've got a perspective view going on right now, and we're trying to match that uh, perspective from the real world and then trying to get some geometry to kind of match what's going on here for this. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can actually do this. I'm going to go ahead and say file open scene and what I've got for you is this underscore UE4 scale reference file and that will load us up with um, just the UE4 mannequin. We've already established scale, things like that. And so then now we're going to be able to load into an image plane. So if you tap the space bar you can go out and you can see the front view. I'll just tap F here, tap F here, tap F here, and then we've got a top, front, side, and perspective view. Now if you look at any one of these cameras, or these uh, viewports, you can go under view and you can go to camera tools and things like that. Uh, and you can have control over maybe what's going on with the camera. Right down below is an image plane, so we can take and we can import an image into any one of those uh, cameras that are going on in this associated with the scene here. So I'm going to go use this perspective view. I'm just going to tap the space bar over here like this, and we're going to go say view, and then go to image plane, and we're going to say import image. Um, what I've made is if you back out just a little bit under learning content, I've got Maya. I set up a folder for the image planes that I'm going to use and select that image. So I actually took the reference that was off the internet and took that into Photoshop and just flipped it because uh, this is the direction that I want to go with things. So immediately it's going to load it up and you're going to see that that thing is going and it's sitting in front of the model that we have. So we want to go ahead and fix that. I'm going to hit Control A to bring up the Attribute Editor. And your Attribute Editor might be over in here in this area. I like to pull this thing out and from the tab over here just because I use it quite a bit and I like to kind of push and pull things around uh, a bit. So. What I can go here to is this depth, and it's set to 100. If we do something like we start to push this back, so I'm going to have to say like 500, let's see 200. I'm, I'm just trying to find the point to where this starts to intersect with the character. So 400, maybe 375. You can see how it's starting to cut into the character. Basically, all we're doing with the depth on this, we're pushing that image forward and backwards. So we want to get it kind of far back, so I'm going to put in about a thousand for that, and then that should get the cannon back in within through here, like that. So I do have the grid turned on, you can see we've got that here, I do have anti-aliasing turned on for the grid, and then now we can just take the camera and we can start to move this around and manipulate it and try to match uh, what would be the floor on here. So just going to try to line that up, and then we're just going to ballpark how um, how big this uh, cannon would actually be. So I'm trying to think if it's somewhere in this uh, vicinity, somewhere in this area like this. So a little bit later, you'll see like what I actually used to uh, to build this with the exact scale. But for right now, I'm just going to kind of teach you just a little bit about this image plane and how we can get this thing kind of started and get it rolling. Okay, so we've already looked at primitives. We're going to say create polygon primitives and we'll do a cube. We'll just do the option box for this. I've got this set to 100 by 100 by 100 and I'll hit apply for that. And then now what we can do with our cube is we'll just go ahead and kind of scale this thing down and maybe scale it out this way like this and try to get something that we're matching here. And then once we find that, maybe we might want to just say 0.15, make these numbers uh, whole numbers, so maybe 1.4. So um, the other thing is maybe we put it on the move tool and just move it up just a little bit like this. And if we tap 4, we can see the wireframe view. So after I've got that kind of established, maybe I'll push this in this direction a little bit. And so 
I think um, what I'll do is probably scale this in just a little bit as well, somewhere within there. So we're starting to get pretty close to having uh, some reference that's matching from that photograph. Now, after we have this set up, this is a perspective view. You wouldn't want to move the camera around and kind of get this messed up. So one thing we can do is select this perspective camera. And we're on uh, the frame ticker zero here like this. I can just select this here, hold on shift, and select all the way down to rotate. And now I can right click on here and say key selected. So that's going to make a... Uh, a keyframe of animation uh, on that camera and so basically it just means I can do anything I want with this camera now and if I ever want to get back to that uh, that frame that I keyed all I got to do is just click and drag and move this thing back over so it's a way that you can use that camera and you can move around in the scene and you can always get back to it a little bit later so I'll tap 5 for the uh, shaded view so the last thing I want to show you is if we go ahead and select the image plane like this and hit control A to bring up the attribute editor we can see some of the numbers that you see over here in the channel box we're going to control the size of the image so if you want to actually scale the image down a little bit you can hit the size X or Y and I'll just click on that name and middle, draw, middle mouse drag left or right now if we add the control modifier to this while we're doing this we get even finer control so we can always kind of um, move and man manipulate the size of this thing by using this and then if we want to do an offset in X we can push it this direction or this direction or we can do an offset in Y as well okay so that's a little bit about how you can just take the image and you can scale it and you can move it the other thing that you might want to know is that if you go open up the attribute editor you can tell it to just look through this specific camera that you have going on here and at that point it'll be hidden from all these other different camera views and it'll only be in that particular uh, view that you set up for the camera so I think that's going to be enough information for you right now to kind of get an understanding of image planes. Go ahead and try this little process out like what I just showed you where you're going to pull in the image plane um, and kind of manipulate your scene a little bit for that.